Okay, YouTubes. Let's do this. Uh, I've been waiting to start a YouTube channel for a very long time. Had a million ideas as to what I was going to do for my first video. And this is not even one of them. I was just doing something uh, a few minutes ago. And I was like, you know what? You know what I should do for my first video? I should talk about my hair. That was very quiet. I understand that. I said I should talk about my hair. Um, so I'm a, a serial hair cutter. Like, I don't cut other people's hair. That'd be, that'd be horrible. And, like, serial hair cutter would be a perfect name for that. So maybe that should be... I, I cut my hair. And I cut it frequently. And I don't want to. And I don't know why I do it. I let it grow out to a certain point, and then I chop it all off. And it just... I want it long. So, you know... I know that, that what people are expecting to see when when somebody's like, my hair story is, look how long I've, I've grown my hair, and, and you know, you don't see a lot of, look at how long I've grown my hair from this length, this is how long it took, and this is what I did to get here. Um, so I'm going to start at the beginning. I'm going to start, you know, I mean, it's longer than it was, but I'm going to start, you know, at the base so that you guys can see, and even maybe in the future I can do a video. Um, coming back to this video and being like, hey, look what I've done to my hair. Perfect. Um, it, it all worked out for me. These are the things that worked for me. So, um, so I cut my hair, cut it into a bob forever ago. It was like three years ago. And I was immediately sick of it. Just, I cut it off. I was like, oh, I love this. And, you know, maybe two weeks later, I was like, I want my hair back. Um, it was trash when I cut it. That's why I cut it. Um, I, I had bleached it after trying to pull red hair dye out of it, and this, I, I did all of this at home, so, and it was all for a Halloween costume, so I'm a, I'm a dedicated Halloweener, um, you know, when I do cosplay, I do it right, well, apparently not, you know, I mean, I sacrifice my body and myself to put myself in these places, so anyway, I'm cutting the bob. Hated it after a second, as a lot of people that cut their hair short and do it frequently do. They cut their hair short, they're like, I want my hair back. Um, and I let it grow out for like three years. And I did, you know, a lot of the things that, you know, the internet told me to do. I did the biotin, um, which I disagree with now. I, you're putting too much of one vitamin in, in your body, and your body can't take it. And honestly, it'll make it so that you're not getting any of the biotin to overdo it on the biotin. So just be careful with that. Um, so anyway, uh, it's weird how emotional I'm feeling about this story. I grew my hair out, and, and I'm doing, like, the oils on my scalp, and I'm doing the, you know, the coconut oil, which also I eventually stopped using because it did seem to be drying my hair out at a certain point. I don't know if it's that I was overusing it or what it was, but like initially it was like, oh, it makes my hair so soft, but then when it wasn't in my hair, as soon as like the day that I stopped using it, it'd just be screaming for more oil and be like, I love the nourishment of coconut oil. No, I'm kidding. Coconut oil just seems to absorb so quickly that um, it doesn't actually do much. Um, but that's just kind of my personal opinion. Uh, my hair's a little bit floopy today, so maybe this wasn't the best day to do a hair video. Yes, there's a mirror behind the camera, so that's why I'm doing this. Anyway, <clears throat> number one thing I want to grow out now, bangs. hate my bangs. Um, but, um, I apologize for all the ums. Maybe I'll try and edit those out, or maybe I'll just do the first one raw. Raw, uncut, first YouTube video. Um, so, I'm growing out for three years and do all the stuff they say you're supposed to do aside from not dyeing my hair and um like i would still occasionally use heat and stuff on it um but the not dyeing part i was really bad about and like usually i would just dye my hair box red you know the standard white girl <clears throat> i have to have my hair box burgundy um for whatever reason and that's the only color I would use. And then when I'm trying to get my hair healthier, for some reason, aside from the initial bleaching that destroyed my hair in the first place, and also stripping up the red color that I insisted on putting back in my hair um, at a certain point, 
I, uh, I bleached it. I bleached it again and again and again because I found Splat. And I was like, ooh, I like having my hair cool colors and that shit doesn't come out, just so you know. Like, it's semi-permanent and what it means by that is it's gonna be super vibrant and then like a couple weeks later you'll have this blue tint to your hair that you cannot fucking get out. Um, I mean, you can still probably see there's, I did my hair purple the last time I did it and it, mind you, this was like six months ago the last time I used a splat um, and there's no purple in my hair and I've used since then color strippers um, obviously to, I didn't want the purple in my hair anymore but they're pretty colors just be sure that you're dedicated to having your hair that color or a splat color for like the rest of your life before, or for the rest of your hair's life, you, know, you can cut it off if you want, but, so this destroyed my hair, I, it was, it was like, down to here, and honestly, in three years, that's pathetic, that was not a lot of hair, I mean, granted, I did cut it, dead, but, you know, I should have had, like, a foot and a half longer, somewhere around there, and I had nine inches longer than from where I had cut it, so, so I was trimming my hair frequently, trying to get rid of the like strands that I got from, um, from bleaching it repeatedly. And at a certain point, uh, about three months ago, I was like, "Fuck this! I'm starting over. I'm not gonna dye my hair anymore. Uh, I'm gonna cut off all my dead ends. I cut off about six inches of my hair. Like I hurt my soul a little bit because I had been, you know, working to grow my hair out. But um, so I cut it all off." And I haven't haven't dyed it <laughs> since then, in about three months. I hate my natural hair color, but you know what? I'm gonna put up with it at least until I get it to a length I'm happy with, and then I might use like manic panic because, as far as I'm aware, that's not really damaging to your hair. Um, so maybe that's that's a that's a hard maybe. Depends on how much I, I haven't seen like my full head of natural hair color, but as you can see, I have many different colors that my hair is growing out of. So right now, I'm actually doing the inversion method, 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 that's what I was doing before I started this video that made me decide to do a video on my hair. I can't really include you guys in that one because I'm like a good portion of the way through it and like if I told you, like I could tell you how much I got from it, but like you might not believe me because I don't have like the record of how many inches my hair was before I started. It was like 15. <coughs> 15 inches long. I should have measured the bangs. Oh my god, I didn't measure my bangs. You fucking idiot. Um, so, just really quick, what I'm doing now that, that you, I mean, like, it's so much more full. Um, it curls. <laughs> it, like, naturally curls like it used to. Um, when I was straightening my hair, it'd be like, ooh, this side's gonna be straight today and this side's gonna be curly, although it still is kind of doing that right now. But, like, this side would be, like, super straight and this side would be, like, bouncy pretty girls and you know, now that I've stopped straightening it and stopped using that heat, I haven't used heat, I think, in, like, six months. Um, just, like, why? Uh, headbands, clips, things like that. That's what I use to, like, not give a shit about my hair while it's growing out, and then I will care about it at some point. So, what I'm using now, instead of the coconut oil to oil my scalp, is, yes, I brought my little friends along, is Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Now, <clears throat> This is lavender scented, and it is just so relaxing and so amazing to massage your scalp with that. And I would say that it's helping, and honestly, I use it on my eyelashes too, and um, since I started using it, they're, they're longer, their mascara doesn't clump as much. Um, I use it before I put on mascara, like it comes off pretty easily, but I usually don't wear mascara for like a long period of time. Um, so you put it on, and then it's... I suppose I'll have to finish this pretty quick, I'm talking about my oil. Oil's good. I like it. <laughs> no, my camera doesn't have a lot of space. Uh, one thing that I really like is this um, Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco. I love how everywhere everything specifies that, like I don't know by now. Um, but it's a lovely leave-in conditioner, as is this. This is my friggin' favorite. Uh, it's also Jamaican Black Castor Oil. Um, uh, it's a leave-in conditioner by Shane Moisture. Um, Everything I use is sulfate and alcohol free. Um, that I, without the alcohol, I swear that's helped my hair so much, it, like maintain some of its hydration. Once again, it's it's been a little humid here, so 
my hair is kind of frizzy now because like I said I have curly hair it just brushed the crap out of it so yeah, everybody with curly hair knows what I'm talking about when when I say curly hair frizzes up um, I might continue on uh, no I might I'm going to continue on telling the story of my hair and things that I'm doing that I feel are working um, for my hair and then you guys can see for yourself whether or not it's working and you know what? I will update on the inversion method and see if that has grown any like I said I think my hair was about 15 inches um, but I'm running out of space on my camera so unfortunately for now that has to be all um, I'm not like gonna do beauty guru channel I'm gonna do comedy on this channel I'm gonna do um, other crap on this channel uh, rants, reviews, whatever. Uh, my sister's sending me a birthday present. I'll probably do an unboxing of that. So I have no fucking idea what's inside of it. Um, so that should be fun. <laughs> um, and maybe I'll review some of the things that are inside. If, uh, if they can be reviewed. Everything can be reviewed. We can judge everything. Um, but for now, um, uh, people have their sign-offs. I, I don't have one. Um, I'm not gonna be like, you know, I don't have one yet. Maybe I just won't have one. Um, I was gonna say good morning and good night, uh, but I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, good night, YouTube, because fuck, that's when I watch YouTube. I don't watch YouTube in the morning. I watch YouTube at night when I have nothing else going on. Uh, and also maybe when I need, like, a tutorial on something.